Hello everybody. So we're doing the uh, lab 18 experiment right now. And so this is the video. So first you weigh out your potassium nitrate and you get about 10 grams of it. And you're gonna wanna put it all into your test tube and then you're gonna wanna try and dissolve it. And so in order to dissolve that much solid into your liquid, it's gonna take some heating that's gonna have to go on. So you add your solid, in there, you add in your liquid, and then you stick it in the heat in the warm water bath to try and heat it up and get it all to dissolve. So we're trying to measure the solubility product, so we have to get it all dissolved, and then we're going to measure out when it stops dissolving. Is kind of the the transition between the two. So uh, this is going to involve trying to be as accurate as we can about when it dissolves. So it involves lots of stirring and temperature measurements. So Lots of stirring going around. Um, so as you're doing this, you would be measuring out the temperature at which the solid reformed back into the solution. So we're not going to measure when it dissolves, but we're going to measure when it stops dissolving. Same thing. Uh, it's just a little easier to do it this way. All right, so once you've got it all dissolved, you need to make sure that it, all of it's dissolved, like absolutely all. There's no no actual solid in there. And then you have to use another test tube to measure out how much volume that is. So there is a volume change that's associated with dissolving the stuff. And so we're gonna take a sample of clean water, measure it out and go from there. So then as we let it cool down, you're eventually gonna get little crystals to form in there and then you measure down that temperature. And so that's gonna be the temperature at which that was soluble at that volume. So now you add more water, re-dissolve it again, and do the same thing. And so you're going to get a series of, uh, of saturated solutions at different concentrations because you're measuring them at slightly less concentration every time that you add more water. And you're then going to measure the temperature that you start getting the solid to form again. And so that's going to be a different temperature at each one of these different concentrations. So you're going to have a temperature and a concentration for each one of these different solutions. And you're going to repeat this four different times. So we've already done it once, and now this was the second time. So we added more water. So now the volume's different. So you got to measure out what the volume is again with your dummy water solution, where you make sure it's the same test tube and you get the same volume of water. And then you let it cool down until you see the crystals form again, or you see solid in the solution. And so once you do that, you measure it down. So then after you start seeing crystals form, you'll quickly get lots of crystals to form. And so again, add more water, so you make it less concentrated. And then you're going to heat it up again until it all dissolves, take it out, let it cool down until you see the crystals forming again, and you're going to repeat. Okay, so all of this data on the four different temperatures at the four different concentrations is going to be recorded in an Excel file that is also in the uh, folder along with this video. So that Excel file has entry points for all of the data that you're going to do. So you're going to calculate out the KSP from these different concentrations. You're going to have the temperatures that you're going to put in there, and then you're going to form a graph for these. So the data that you get from this, these experiments that are going on, is going to be recorded into the entry points in this Excel file that we post along with this video. You're going to fill in the rest of the, the empty Excel files cells to get the data and calculate out what delta G is, what delta H is, and what delta S is for this reaction of the dissolving of this potassium nitrate. Okay, so the calculations, they're going to involve a lot of steps along the way. There is a new cell for almost every step, and there will be questions that pertain to each one of the steps along the way will ask you questions about certain boxes that are going to be in there. So you're going to want to fill out that Excel file 
and then have that ready for when you fill out the, the post lab quiz. Uh, I'll set it so that you, after you submit, it tells you what you got on each one of the questions. So you can tell if you got the first one right and the second one wrong or where you went wrong. And so you're gonna try and do it until you can get the, the proper answer for, for all of the boxes and the, the final entropy for this reaction. Okay, so that's going to be how this lab's gonna go. So this is the video. Uh, this would be what you would have done in lab. It's not super exciting. You would have collected the data, and now the data is in an Excel file waiting for you to do the calculations.